What's going on guys, it's Matt. Let's jump into the Word of God this morning and do a little devotional on Acts chapter 16, verse 16. All right, so this is where Paul and Silas, they're about to get thrown into prison because Paul has just uh, driven the evil spirit out of a slave girl who was bringing her owners uh, a lot of money through fortune telling and, and being a medium. If you want to look at verse 16, it says, As we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners much gain by fortune telling. Okay, so uh, she's a slave girl. Uh, she's doing this against her will. She has a spirit of divination, which is a, a python spirit in the Greek mythology. Uh, this is where this name comes from. It's a, uh, a python spirit where Apollo actually killed a python. If you guys want to check that out, look at some Greek mythology on that. Um, so she brought her owners much gain, which she made a lot of money doing fortune telling and things like that for them. So she was following Paul and Silas, it says in verse 17. She followed Paul and us, crying out, These men are servants of the Most High God, who proclaim to you the way of salvation. Okay, so you may be thinking to yourself, well, this is good. She's kind of uh, going ahead of them and telling everybody, these men are telling you how to be saved. Well, the problem is, is this is an evil spirit. And uh, she, she may be confusing others that are around Paul and Silas on, on how exactly to uh, become a follower of Christ. And I want to flip over to my other study Bible here that I've got. It's got a really good uh, little commentary down here. The strange words of the demon-possessed girl that Paul is proclaiming the way of salvation, because that's what Paul and Silas are doing. They're proclaiming the way of salvation. Reveal Satan's insidious attack upon the work of God. His method is to counterfeit that which is genuine, thereby confusing and corrupting it. So what we see here is this evil spirit is, is trying to get into other people's minds and maybe doing a little bit of confusion. Uh, we see this a lot of times uh, today, sadly, in, in churches around the world, is that uh, we may have some pastors in there or preachers in there that are allowing things to go on in the church that aren't in the Word of God. And therefore, you're confusing uh, people uh, that uh, the way to salvation and how to be saved or even things after salvation, which is not a good thing. Um, so we can also look at uh, verse 18 here after this and it says and this she kept doing for many days paul having become greatly annoyed so paul's kind of aggravated at the fact that she's following them around and and almost kind of discrediting them uh, on what they're trying to do so paul turned to to her and said to the spirit if you notice that it says to the spirit not to her i command you in the name of jesus christ to come out of her and it came out of her that very hour uh, we can also cross reference uh, some some spirits being driven out. If we look at Luke 4:41, and this is where Jesus is healing many people. If we look at look at Luke 4:41, it says, "And demons also came out of many, crying, 'You are the Son of God.' But he rebuked them and would not let them speak because they knew that he was the Christ." All right. So I also want to cross reference and look at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, verse 13. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. So that's kind of a scary verse there at the end, talking about their end will correspond to their deeds. Um, so let's flip back over and just kind of review what we saw here in verses 16 through 18 so we have paul and silas uh, this is actually written by luke uh, off of off of the notes or interviews uh, luke is writing this passage here but uh, this is paul and silas and they're about to get thrown into prison again like i said um, you know they they're walking through uh, town in the place going to the place of prayer they meet this slave girl who has a, a spirit of divination which is the python spirit like i said uh, he She's following them around and, and kind of almost confusing people on exactly uh, how uh, salvation happens. And Paul has really had enough of it because he's trying to win people to Christ. Uh, and she is there just kind of um, being an obstacle uh, for them to be able to do that. So Paul drives uh, through the name of Jesus Christ, this spirit of divination, out of her. 
uh, and it says it came out in that very hour. All right, next devotion, we're going to check out verses 19 through 24 and see how Paul and Silas get thrown into prison. I love you guys. Have a great week. Lift those weights and grow that faith.